How are you? How are you feeling? Are you feeling really good? I hope so, because you are with your family. And that is important. Remember, stay home, okay? Before we start with this lesson, let me ask you something. What was your mom or your dad doing when you woke up? Can you remember? Come on, try to remember and write it down. Perfect, I am going to answer. When I woke up, my mom was sleeping. And she was sleeping because it was really early. I wake up every day very early. Why? Because I'm working, I'm working for you. Okay, so let me tell you the story of a man. He, do you know him? I bet you know him. He was a really good president during all his time there. But as in every country, it was election time. So he knew his time was about to finish. When he was president, there were two other people that were trying to win the elections. Them. Do you know them? They look familiar? Of course, right? He stood up for the Republican Party while she defended the Democratic Party. When he was president, he was trying to build something in the middle of two nations, which obviously made many people mad, angry, scared, but some others follow his ideas and follow him. Different perspectives. While he was planning to go to another country because he was still working, they were planning their campaigns. But he never stopped working. He worked until the end. He was trying to make peace with another country. When, when he was in that country with that president, he received a phone call. The phone call was about the election winner. Do you know who won? She won or he won? Of course, he won. He won the elections. So this is a short story of his life when he was president. But the most important thing here is that I want you to focus on the verbs. Do you remember the verbs that I use? Like, he stood up or she defended. The verbs are in which tense, do you know? Yes, of course, in past simple. But what about the other verbs? Like, they were preparing, he was planning. Exactly past continuous, because I'm talking about something that happened long time ago. So I want you to focus now on this part. We're going to talk about past simple and past continuous. The past simple is for actions that finish in a period of time. Past continuous is for actions that last a period of time in the past. It doesn't matter how long but the point is that they last a period of time. In the past simple, we use the verbs in past. There are two kinds of verbs. The regular, the ones that finish with ed, and the irregular verbs. Like for example, she defended. Defended is a regular verb. And he was present. Was is an irregular verb. In the other hand, the past continues, we use was, were plus ing, like they were preparing, they were preparing, yes, until you hear we're okay, perfect, now when we combine the past simple and the past continuous, there is one of these that goes before, that happened first, the past continuous goes after the past continuous, and the past continuous goes before the past simple. So in this case, remember the sentence that I gave you at the beginning. When I woke up, my mom was sleeping. Which action happened first? My mom was sleeping and then I woke up. 
That's why the past continuous goes before. Then we have the words when and while. When, we are going to use it with the past simple and while with the past continuous. Yes, like when he was a president. While they were planning their campaigns. Yes? So now, remember the sentence that you wrote at the beginning? Check your sentence and check if it follows these rules. If it follows these rules, it is okay. If not, try to make it correct according to this. Perfect? Okay. So this was the lesson of today. Thank you for watching and remember, stay home, stay safe. Thank you for watching.